viewers at home, welcome to another edition of Amazing People on NABN TV. My name is Anthony Afalo. This is one of those times when we profile and celebrate selfless, committed, and dynamic individuals here at NABN TV worldwide. The Sierra Leone Ambassador to the United States and High Commissioner to Canada, Ambassador Sadiq Y, Ambassador Per Excellence, known for his charisma and humility, Ambassador Sadiq Y was surprised to see the Sierra Leone Labour Minister, Alpha Osman Timbo, former colleagues from the United Nations, including journalists, as well as other distinguished guests who turned in to celebrate him at Ali Baba's restaurant here in New York City. Ambassador Sadiq Y is highly respected and admired by many, including governors, senators, congressmen and women, business executives, philanthropists, industry, as well as media executives, including members of the African diaspora in the United States. Here are some of the comments about Ambassador Y. Yeah. And that is one of the reasons why we are in the orbit of Ambassador Y. He attracts people who do things to benefit other people, and we benefit from him as well, his inspiration as well. So it's a it's somewhat of a mutual uh, relationship. And I thank you very much for all of that, Ambassador Wiley. For all of you to drop everything you're doing on a Sunday evening to come here, it shows the respect and the value you have for him. Um, a lot of you came from far and across the, the river and uh, meeting Ambassador Y and all the great things he's spoken about everybody here. He has a story. And, and that's because each and every one of us at one time or the other has contributed to his life and have become a part of his journey. Uh, and like I said, it's a journey where he understands that he can't do it alone and he needs the community who he relies on and upon whose shoulders he stands on as well. Every time he calls, I will drop whatever I am and I'll come running and I'll answer. As a member of government, I am very, very much gratified to have had from distinguished personalities like you expressing good sentiments about our brother. I don't think words will be able to express the joy that I have because when you find yourself in short situations where people from all walks of life different nationalities, all of them say wonderful things about your own person. It, 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 is, it, is, it is something that I believe both of our brothers and sisters who serve in the mission there will be very motivated. So I want us to give Ambassador a round of applause. Again. This evening, I had the opportunity of meeting Moses Adedeji and our brother, the doctor there, very young people who have inspired other people. So I believe we have the opportunity to continue to make positive impact in the various communities that we come from. When Brother Moses was speaking, he gave me an assignment. That is to say, to take a message to our president. Like he said, many times within the African setting, people who have lived in diaspora are normally looked at as antagonists to the countries where they come from. So in terms of appreciating their contributions towards their own country's development. I want you to know that the people of Sierra Leone appreciate, we continue to appreciate you and all those who in one way or the other 
are supporting you to make sure that you continue to portray the image of Sierra and Africa at large. So we appreciate. Thank you very much. I will definitely make sure that when I go back home, I will bring these kind of memories to His Excellency the President. When I met Sadiq Y, I realized that although he came from a very, very different place than I did, he really was one of my brothers and he welcomed me with such great, great um, uh, warmth and such uh, presence that I realized that anything that I could do to make him, his experience and the experience of all other immigrants, primarily the group that he worked with, the United African Congress, better and more uh, successful was something that I would be happy to do. Sadiq's inspiration. Sadiq's inspiration to all of us is unique. I mean, he's a person that brings out all of us need to help one another, and I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to work with him. Happy to meet you, Dr. Kuryansky, and Jordan Gordon, the tremendous service that you've done. So, thank you again, Sadiq, for all your words for me tonight, and congratulations for a tremendous life of service in Manhattan. Thank you. Because he is leading by example. So when he said, oh, my sister, one of the best diplomats, it's because I am following. So I seem to have known uh, the ambassador, you know, and uh, to know a big man, uh, a man that everyone respects you know, around the world, that called me all the time, my sister. And uh, he got me also to call me his brother, even before he was an ambassador. That, I mean, this is what we call empowerment. Empowerment, a man empowering, you know, women. We're looking for women to empower women, but uh, the ambassador had really empowered me to even do the work that I do today. The ambassador, in response, thanked guests in attendance was surprising him in a dinner gathering. I want to take this opportunity, very, very unique opportunity, with all humility, to say to each and every single one of you sitting here that I'm humbled, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, I'm blessed, NAB and TV has been following Ambassador Sadiq Y's activities and progress over the years. Ambassador Y has appeared on many of our shows to promote investments in Africa, particularly Sierra Leone. What is the plan for tourism? And the second one. Well, let me, let me, uh, uh, Dr. Keen, I think uh, NAB TV has uh, clearly done its research and uh, to in the in the host who is asking the real questions. That it's on the minds of thank you. thank you. I can tell you, our country has one of the most proficient and able tourism minister in the name of Dr. in the personality of Dr. Pratt. Mm. Dr. Pratt is a pragmatist. Dr. Pratt is one of the finest public servants that we have. As long as people are going there for intended purposes and that, that they are clear mm -hmm. as to what they want to do. That tourism minister who has traveled the world to encourage people to come to Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. The other thing that is really critical about this, the president of the Republic of Sierra Leone and the vice president they are the co-chairs of what they call the NAB, the Sierra Leone Investment Board. Wow. That investment board is a one-stop shop. Okay. So that when something like, say, Dr. King, several million, billion dollars, he wants to invest in little old Sierra Leone, and then people begin to come to him and do all kinds of things, he, rather than go to this agency, that ministry, or this ministry giving a run around, you go, they created that investment board, which is presided over by the president of the country and the, and the vice president, that you could go there and say, hey, this is what is happening. So you also have an informed and educated, hungry and able population mm. who are loyal, mm. hardworking, mm. 
youths looking for employment opportunities. Wow, this is amazing. In my recent visit with Ambassador Y in Washington, D.C., we discussed his recent trip to Sierra Leone, where he led a group of investors and top U.S. government officials to further explore Sierra Leone's investment environment. Barack Obama may have Kenya, but I have Sierra Leone. But when I look at you out there today, and I think about the accomplishments of this great government, and I think about where this country is headed, this country, my ancestral home, when I look at the progress against all odds, a shining example of democracy right here in Sierra Leone. When I look at the accomplishments, you said this nation stands for good, stands for freedom, and stands for justice. And that you are going to make tomorrow better than our today and yesterday. And this is home for you. And this will always be home away from home. You are assured, welcome again to Sierra Leone. As part of his many accomplishments, it is worthy of note to mention that Ambassador Sadiq Y was a driving force behind the use of body cameras in law enforcement as we know it today. The police body cam program was initiated in 2013 as a crime fighting tool during the height of stop and frisk criticism of the police departments in New York City. Today, body cameras are widely used by police departments around the world. When you look at the police officer, and I can tell you this because I designed the first comprehensive community police engagement, which I call community uh, policing. That program was simply to be able to get the police to know the communities that they patrol. Before becoming the Sierra Leone's ambassador to the United States, Sadiq Y held several high-profile leadership positions in the United States in the field of diplomacy, public safety, public health, advocacy, community relations and empowerment, including serving as president of the United African Congress, community affairs analysts, and advisor to the executives of the New York Police Department, NYPD. Ambassador Y was not only the best choice for championing Sierra Leone's interest in the Americas, but also a bridge between the people of the North and South of his country. Ambassador Y, your good work is appreciated by NABN TV. Until next time, when we bring you another episode of Amazing People, my name is Anthony Afalo. Good luck, be well, see you soon. NABN TV, inspiring a new generation.